but this is a non-treasure hunt version of a pink bone shaker but of course um, Lila says she loves pink Hot Wheels so that's what we got so speaking of pink Hot Wheels uh, we did a couple customs here pink Hot Wheels are not very available out there and if they are they're a little pricey so the only way that we're gonna get a whole bunch of them is if we redo them ourselves off eBay I got a bunch of um, just a lot of used Hot Wheel cars, so we just kind of go through these and pick out the ones that we want to do. And so far, we did two. And if you haven't customized any Hot Wheels yet, um, the first video I'd recommend is a video by Mimos Collectibles. I'll put the link in the description. It's where I learned how to drill out the bottoms of the Hot Wheels and get the rivets out. And he kind of goes over the tools and how to do it. Um, it's the best video that I've seen on YouTube of how to do these. And of course, you got to take the whole thing apart, um, spray paint it put it back together. Um, I actually put a clear coat on top of the spray paint so that when we're playing with it, it doesn't rub off as easily. This one's a undecorated Hot Wheel that we did. It's kind of a formula car. It's called the Low CGT and it already looks a little cartoony so I thought that'd be really neat to kind of turn it into a pink Hot Wheel. And then this one I had Lila help me on the paint. Um, she it was pink at first and we used testers model paint to kind of brush on and she used, she tried to keep the black onto the middle part but you know of course there's spillage that's fine <laughs> and then she did a few dots of um, silver and I did that front with a toothpick of all things and this one is called the it's so skinny and it's kind of like a kind of reminds me of a downhill car that you would make out of wood and race your friends as an elementary school type project. So I thought that was another car that would be fitting for this project. And of course, both of these cars were pretty beat up, like this car. You know, there's they're very used, um, played with, rolled in the mud. So, you know, just getting this cars apart, washing them, giving them a new coat of paint and everything uh, really helped. And, you know, it's kind of like restoring a really old Hot Wheel. To replace these wheels it's hard to find a match because the wheels needed to have a certain diameter which is a lot bigger than most Hot Wheel cars if you can see that so we actually got these wheels off of a Power Rage and I think it was a nice match for it but everything spins free no dragging and I think we did a good job for our first two customs right Lila? And we'll post more of these custom videos as we get more done. Hopefully we get more experience with them and maybe we'll turn some of these into some cool looking custom pink rods for Lila. And maybe some black ones for Colin too, huh? Okay, thanks for watching everyone.